this video, we're going to be talking about the neuroscience behind the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is responsible for activating the relaxation response or the rest and digest response within our body. At the end of this video, you're going to learn a technique called vagal nurturing. Vagal nurturing can be done in a few minutes time and it can help to calm the nervous system so that you can move from a state of fight or flight to a state of rest and digest. So, so be sure to stick around until the end of the video so that you learn this technique. The vagus nerve is the most complex of our cranial nerves that originate in the brain. The vagus nerve is responsible for transmitting information from the brain to organs and tissues that are located elsewhere in the body. The vagus nerve serves a number of functions. It plays an important role in our parasympathetic nervous system, our breathing, digestive tract, and heart rate. Fight, flight, freeze, and feign death are our natural responses to danger. These responses are hardwired within our neurobiology and operate automatically. These responses have played a valuable role in our survival as a species. Fight, flight, freeze, and feign death are important responses in the event of actual danger. Modern day stresses elicit the primal fight or flight response, even though there's no danger that is immediate or present. And when you experience constant stress, the nervous system can get locked within the fight or flight response. This can cause problems with digestion, sleep, and even mood. When the nervous system is in a fight, flight, freeze, or feign death response, the digestive system shuts down. This is because if we are in danger, it would be a terrible time to eat a meal. Blood is moved away from the digestive tract, as well as the brain, to muscles so that we can respond to the threat in an appropriate manner. Our nervous system keeps us alert and hyper-aware of perceived danger. Our brain takes inventory of the situation and our nervous system responds with a survival defense that will ensure our safety. Excessive activation of the vagal nerve during emotional stress can cause sudden drops in the amount of blood that the heart pumps to the brain, and it can prevent the brain from receiving appropriate amounts of oxygen. The vagus nerve is responsible for activating the relaxation response of the parasympathetic nervous system. This decreases stress, inflammation, and nervousness. Over time and with practice, Vagal nurturing can help to tonify the vagus nerve, assisting you to move from a fight or flight response to the rest and digest response much faster. It decreases nervousness, reduces blood pressure and heart rate, helps with increasing calmness, relaxation, and digestion. The fight, flight, freeze, and faint death responses were responsible for our survival as a species and they are vitally important. However, when we're under constant stress all day, maybe there's a deadline that we're trying to meet or there's a traffic jam or the subway is, is delayed, then it can put us into a state of fight or flight. And when we're in a constant state or fight of fight or flight, that state can get locked into the nervous system. Vagal nurturing is a tool that we use to calm the nervous system and to elicit a relaxation response. Now I will walk you through the individual steps of the vagal nurturing exercise, and then we'll put it all together and practice it. The first thing that we start off with is taking our hands and beginning to massage our ears. Before we can see or make sense of our uh, reality around us as children when we're born, the first thing that we do is listen. We listen for the environment. We listen to make sure that it is safe. We listen for our mother's voice. And, and when the mother's voice is calming and soothing, the child recognizes that and begins to relax, knowing that, that there's someone there to protect them. So we begin by massaging the 
the ear lobes. The vagal nerve starts development within the ears first. If you're wearing glasses, you might want to take them off. The second step of vagal nurturing is to take your hands and place them over your eyes. Once we hear that the environment is safe, we begin to look around and use our vision to perceive safety around us. So we simply take a moment with our hands over our eyes and just relax. The next step is taking our hands and holding our face almost as if our face is being held by someone that deeply cares about us. And just relaxing into that. When we hear that the world is safe and we see that the world is safe, the next step is actually feeling it. So we place our hands over our heart and we just hang out here, really feeling safe in our body. And we take a deep breath. When we see and hear and feel that the world is safe, then we can safely rest and digest. We can digest our food, we can digest our experiences. So we simply hang out here in the belly for a moment. And the last step of vagal nurturing is taking our hands, placing them palm up, and we call this being open to receive. Being open to receive all that is good. Being open to receive what you wish to receive. And you simply take a moment in that position. So it can be really good to examine and sort of observe and be mindful of how you feel before the exercise and to observe how you feel after the exercise, noticing what softens within you as you move through this process. So let's take a few moments to run through this exercise together. So let's begin by gently pulling and massaging our ears. Good, just noticing how that feels. Taking the hands, placing them over the eyes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Taking your hands, placing them around your face, under your chin, just like someone is holding your face that, that cares about you deeply. Take your hands, moving them down to the heart. Just noticing the sensations. Now moving your hands down, down into the stomach, being able to rest and digest. And then placing the palms up on the lap, being open to receive. And just taking a few moments to breathe in this space. Let's move through this exercise one more time. Starting with the ears, pulling the ears, massaging the ears gently. Taking the hands, placing them over the eyes. Placing your hand, 
placing your hands under your chin. Placing the hands over the heart, just taking a deep breath and just relaxing into this. Taking your hands, placing them around the stomach. Resting and digesting. And then taking the hands, placing them palm up. Being open to receive. Open to receive all that is good in your life. Good. Now just take a moment and develop some awareness, some mindfulness about your body. And just notice what's changed for you since you began this exercise just a few moments ago. What has softened? What is open for you? The more that you practice the vagal nurturing exercise, the more it tonifies the vagal nerve so that you can move from a fight, flight, or freeze response to a rest and digest response much quicker. If you would like more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe and then ring the little bell to make sure that you receive notifications of all of the new videos as they are released.